the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California, where the Bulls hope to wrap up their first ever NBA title tonight. The Lakers are hoping that at least once more they can shoot down Air Jordan and send the series back to Chicago. Unfortunately for Magic and the rest, they will play shorthanded. Two starters, James Worthy and Byron Scott, left game four with injuries, were unable to practice the last two days. The way you've just seen them is the way you'll see them on the bench tonight. They will not suit up. They will be in street clothes. As for Chicago, after 25 seasons, the second city is finally focused on finishing first. And in game four here on Sunday night, Michael Jordan played very well despite the jam toe. For more on Jordan's condition, here's Ahmad Rashad. All right, thanks, Marv. That toe is still the same as it was on Sunday. It's still badly bruised and extremely painful. It didn't bother him then. He says it will not bother him tonight. Now, the atmosphere around the Bulls, everybody is very serious, very focused on the bus ride from the hotel over to the forum. Everybody was quiet. They were all thinking about that championship that's oh so close at hand. I asked Jordan about winning it at home. He said, you know what? We want to win it whenever and wherever we can. We feel like we can win it tonight. Mark. Lakers have been coming up with most of the loose balls here at the start. Teagle could not handle that pass. And here comes Jordan. Michael Jordan with a gorgeous move with Magic Johnson back. Here's A.C. Green. The Bulls have a three on two. Nice look away from Jordan to set up Grant. And the Lakers lead 13-11. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal. Michael Jordan with his second field goal. And back come the Bulls. Lakers lead at 23-21. Here's Jordan. A gorgeous move again by Michael Jordan going at Bloody Devots strong and then able to lay it home softly. Second quarter underway and the Bulls with a 27-25 lead back. A three-pointer for Craig Hodges. And the Lakers back to Devots bringing it up and he lost it. Jordan off the steal. Again, we hate to keep saying it, but that's part of the problem when you have a seven-footer, 6'11 guy trying to bring it up the floor. Here's Jordan. Michael is now five for eight. He has ten. And the Bulls lead it 42-37. Jordan with the steal. Pippen moving on green. Scotty Pippen has 15. The Bulls take a 54-51 lead. Jordan to the reverse. So Michael able to answer. And Magic looking to push it down court. Here's Green stripped by Jordan. Pippen with Perkins back. Jordan, yes. 18 for Jordan. Here's Jordan. For Grant, and the foul committed by Devots. That is his second. The double team, Campbell over to help. Here is Pippen. Scotty Pippen has 23, and the Bulls lead 75 72. There's that weak side attack as Jordan takes the lob off the back pick play and slams it down. Pippen played by Green. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Going to the left hand and able to squeeze through to give the Bulls a two-point lead. Michael Jordan, yes. He has 25. Lakers and Bulls tied at 88. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. Trying to get Jordan in the isolation on the left side of the floor. The other four Bulls on the right side. Pippen with the open shot for three. Scotty Pippen has tied it. Paxson with the open shot. And back come the Lakers. Magic fires off the dribble to Smith. Jordan batting it away. Jordan tied up by Campbell. Jordan claiming that he was calling for a timeout. And he got the call. The scramble for the ball. Right there. Possession. Timeout. Good call. Open shot for Perkins. 
Cartwright on the rebound. Can't ask for a much better look. 16-footer in the foul line area, wide open, no one playing him. Paxson open again. John Paxson continues to provide the crushing shots. Jordan with the crossover and the bucket. He goes wherever he wants to on the basketball floor. That's how good he is. Holding foul, says Jake O'Donnell. It went in, but will not count. It is a two-point lead for Chicago. The Bulls looking for their first ever NBA championship. The Lakers desperately trying to bring it back to Chicago for a game six. Paxson, yes! John Paxson again! And the Bulls lead 105-101. Devox from three-point land. Michael Jordan gets to it. As we come up on 10 seconds remaining, he's fouled by Green. And the Bulls beginning to celebrate. 11 and 4 tenths seconds remaining. The Chicago Bulls on the verge of taking three out of three from the Lakers in Los Angeles. Michael Jordan with 30 points. The Bulls lead by seven. Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. The Bulls greeted by a portion of this forum crowd as they try to get back to their locker room. For the Lakers, a different story. The Chicago Bulls' domination of this series has to be considered a major surprise. Mike, there was no reason to believe that the Lakers would fall apart so dramatically. Michael Jordan is the unanimous MVP. He got all 11 votes. Here we are with Michael, surrounded by his mom and his dad. Wife, I did under the hat. That wasn't fair, but I'm covered with champagne. I can hardly see. Michael, what does it mean to you? It means so much. I mean, not just for me, but for the team, and for the whole city. It's been a seven-year struggle. I mean, when I first got into Chicago, we started at the bottom, and every year we just worked harder and harder until we got to it. And you know, it's it's so gratifying. You know, I'm appreciated so long in my life. You know, for my family, for my kids, everything. It's, it's the most proud day I've ever had. We read that when they broached the subject of the I'm going to Disney World commercial to you, you said only if all my teammates are involved. Yeah, I wanted that to happen, you know, for them. You know, they deserve it. Whatever I get, whatever financial situation I get from that, I'm going to spread it amongst the team. I didn't want it. I want the team to have it. I want everybody to prosper from this whole event. You know, it, it took a team to get to this point. Is there a sense of completeness and fulfillment for you now that might not have been there for all your other achievements before? Well, I wanted to get here. I, I, if, we, if I never got here, I would never have been disappointed about my career, but you know, it capped it off. You know, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to the city. I'm just happy that I was able to be a part of, of history in the city of Chicago. Is there a feeling of a passing of the torch, Magic Johnson, to you? And did you have any words with him toward the end of the game? Well, I know we express our love for each other and, and the love of competition. You know, uh, you know, he, he, he thanked me. He, he certainly was, he was very glad for me. <clears throat> but passing the torch, I mean, the NBA has got so many players that represents them, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And I, I think besides myself, David Robson, Charles Barkley, all these other guys, he's going to carry the label of the NBA from now on, and I'm just glad I'm a part of it.